All right, so I've been playing Vanguard Zombies or Shinonuma specifically a lot since it first came out. Actually, I'm going to activate this Rampage Inducer. I've been playing this a lot outside of recordings, right? And and when I woke up today, I like randomly had the urge. I'm like, you know what? I really want to get to round 100 on Shinonuma, right? I'm going to activate this. Um, And then I was like, wait a minute. I can record this and make a whole video. And so now we're here. I don't know how long it's going to take. Probably not too, too long. I also don't necessarily know what like the optimal strategy is. Other than to just kind of train in the Pack-a-Punch area. I'm using the shotgun, by the way. Uh, This is the combat shotgun, I think. I already have the other shotgun... Uh, uh, gold basically or not gold but i have all the camo unlocked and i'm committed to the idea of getting every single camo in this game eventually contingent on the fact that there's more round based maps in the future that are going to actually make me want to play this game more if there's more maps like this i'll definitely 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 be going for camos Okay, there we go. There's round five. This should be... Yeah, I think round five is always the special round. Decently confident in that. Get out of here, boom booms. Bop. The Rampage Inducer works so unbelievably good in Vanguard Zombies. I feel like it works better in this than it does in Cold War. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off now. Because I can just kill them now that they're in here. I've been recording for like just over two minutes. I'm already like round six just flying through this shit. It's just nice. It's just a lovely little treat. Okay, let me grab this. Boom. Then between rounds, I'm gonna activate it again. Cause why not? Yeah, but like I said, I already have the camo unlocked for the other shotguns. So I guess I'm just gonna be progressing shotguns. I feel like they're the best types of guns in this game. I feel like every other gun just kind of gets outclassed, which is okay. Whatever. All right, I'm gonna open up the map and actually start progressing here. Spawn room challenges are cool or whatever, but I think it's time we get the hell out of here. Always remember to grab the free jug since it's literally right here. Nice, nice, nice. You know what else is completely free? A really cool video game that I want to tell you a little bit about called Modern Warships that also happens to be the sponsor of this video. Modern Warships is a free multiplayer game focused on realistic naval battles. You'll become a captain with an arsenal of more than 30 warships and 200 weapon types. Although ships are not the only technique available to create chaos on sea. Submarines, carrier-based aircrafts, helicopters from different countries are all at your command, each with its own distinctive game. Play. It's extremely simple and intuitive to upgrade them and create a real monster within a few weeks of playing. And it's important to remember that Modern Warships is not one of those pay to win type games. Developers have added so many different styles for you to customize. Just take a look at this dragon that honestly just looks insanely cool. While I'm playing Modern Warships, I find myself just getting completely immersed within the atmosphere of the game, in the different locations and different weather conditions. Like, effects are a very key feature of the game. I highly recommend you download Modern Warships for free using the link at the top of the description it's gonna activate my promo code to get a three days premium account with plenty of bonuses then let's go this way see what perk i get uh i have this frost uh field upgrade or whatever the hell they're called in this game um this frost blast seems from the couple times that i've used it it seems like the best one especially once you upgrade it it gives you like three charges once you're upgraded actually insanely nice it's basically three get out of jail free cards. As long as you could actually like press it before you, you know, you go down. This is a speed run. I'm speed running to round 100 right now. It's just going by so quick. I'm gonna pop up in this way. And we need to get in this hut. What perk are you gonna give me? What perk? Oh, okay. Big, big, big. Check the radio. Grab this. Yo, dude, dude. I was thinking about it in this game it feels like the perks are you know sure they're random but it's like who really cares if they're random because you can just open up the rest but then i realized it's that's kind of how it was in the original shinonuma like unless you were going for an insanely high round and you had to keep the doors closed for that like pretty much which perk you get first doesn't really matter <laughs> okay let's put the barrel there get this wonder wonder waff going i think yeah, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure the lightning happens at the start of the next round. Where they at? Let me protect this shit. I'm gonna protect this shit with my life. Where they at? Hey, yeah. Oh, big boy. Big boy. Big mama. Big thick mama. Oh, dude. This ain't it. Big mama has too much HP. Flat out too much. Oh, God. Oh, shoot. Get away from me. Alright, let's just frost blast this. Oh, he didn't freeze! Oh my, wait, wait. Oh shoot, I must took a round 10 down. The guy was still shooting me even though he was frozen. What, is this not powered up? 
Wait, did it not work? Oh, I failed it. Wait, how the... How did I fail it? Yeah, but I think this frost blast shit might not work on special zombies until after you upgrade it. Okay, I don't know how I failed this, but we gotta do this again. I don't think I've ever failed it in my life. Just more points for me. It's not really that big of a deal. It's just gonna slow me down a little bit. Second time's a turn. Got this. Uh, let's pick up stuns. Stuns needs. I actually focus up here. Get rid of these fools like right away. Like just get out of get out of here. This has gotta almost be done. There we go. I know I didn't fail at that time. Need this. Then I should probably get this last part of the map opened up. I I, I can get my trap kills right now. Let's start this up. Give me, give, give me, give me, give me the goods. Give me the goods. Repair the trap. Huh. Got it. Hopefully that's enough kills. I can never tell. Sometimes it feels like it's only like five kills and sometimes it's like a bunch. Sometimes I'll kill like 20 and it won't be enough. I think, I think it's probably enough. All right, now I just need Zabala or whatever the hell her name is. Let's grab armor and let's throw a pack a bunch on this. The, the main reason to pack a bunch of this, I feel like so early, is just for the extra ammo you get. So it's kind of nice, not gonna lie. Open this up, get our last perk. And I just need to get to round 15. Yeah, I've been playing this map a lot. Uh, Like literally outside of recordings and shit. It's kind of fun having a new zombies map that's not completely due to. I feel like it's been a while since that's been the case. Oh, get off my butt. Get off of my butt. All right, what is this, armor? Nice. And then my first four little hearts always just go to upgrading this, just to be done with it. And then I'll focus on my covenant shit. It's always kind of hard to tell like what percentage of the zombies community even like knows what the hell I'm talking about. Like, do you guys know how these like covenant systems work and how the heart system, like dude, I feel like most people don't know or and don't give a singular shit. It's a decently cool system. I, I prefer the in-game upgrade style over the like profile progression in cold war i don't i'm not saying this is like the optimal way to do it but in general i prefer upgrading myself entirely like on a game by game basis but that's just me i don't know if everybody's like that like i said i'm trying to go trying to not have any downs trying to make this a flawless round 100 so i'm gonna just get the juggernaut out of the way although personally i feel like jug isn't that useful in this game like armor is definitely the more useful of the two all right where are you at i need you to teleport right here all right i need to get her away from there first oh god why is she just standing in front of it here Oh my, oh me. Just chill out here for a second. Trying to get her to like walk towards me so she can teleport onto the generator. Here she is. All right, old buddy, old pal, old friend. Come here, 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 come here. Yes, that's what we love to see. Oh, it's done. Holy shit. It was like wombo combo that shit. Can I build? I can. Let's go. Cool. Well, that was a wonder off speed run. That was like the fastest I've ever built a wonder off by far. Let's get rid of this ugly ass okay next i should probably start upgrading my perks more stamina up's honestly probably the most useful perk in the game so let's let's do that one first can you die like I swear she just doesn't want to die get out of here i'm curious if we'll ever get like a new round based zombies map in vanguard like something that's not reused because if we ever do and it's like full size like i'm talking like old treyarch size because obviously shinonuma is not the biggest map in the world i think it would be actually really fun i think it has a ton of potential like this is without a doubt other than world of war without a doubt the best version of shinonuma like without a doubt i'm a fan of remasters like this but it would be nice if there were some you know actually original maps to go along with it that aren't objective based but hey, what are you gonna do? I guess I could like use the wonder off more, but I'm trying to get camos. What's more important? Getting through rounds quick or getting camos? I say camos. But then again, the mastery camo and zombies in this game is straight ass cheek. It's like the ugly green, weird, ugly, ugly camo. So maybe it's not worth spending a thousand hours grinding for it or something like that. I don't actually know how long it would take. All right, do I have enough points to, how much is, Okay, so it's 5,000, then 8,000. I need one kill. I need one kill. Boom, fully upgraded stamina. Dude, you're so quick in this game. Okay, pretty much all we have to do now is grind the rounds. See how long this is gonna take. How good is the Wonder Wolf? Pretty decent. I'll get some upgrades on the Wonder Wolf as well pretty soon. I feel like if I actually wanna get through this really quickly, this is probably the way to go. Um, I guess I have the points to do it now. Just 
Oop, let's just do it. All right, it's time to just grind. Time to literally just grind away. Okay, let's, uh, you know what? Speed Cola would probably be smart. Oh, never mind. This is quicker, but sometimes in this game, you just buy perks because it's it's convenient. Like, you don't want to go all the way over there to get Speed Cola. So, let's <laughs> just do a quick revive. Also, I have three hearts. Let's, uh, try to spend something. High chance to keep equipment, constantly deal damage, successful shots on the enemy deal more damage. I guess I'll just grab a blue one for now and work on uh, upgrading it later. Oh, we got a Zavala. The Wonder Wolf absolutely just shits on her. Like it's legit, legit the only way of dealing with her in a non-annoying way. It's the only way that she's not annoying is if you have a Wonder Wolf in your hands. It still takes three shots because of the way her health works. It's a lot better than, you know, using a regular gun the hell dude the drops in this game just randomly get in the in the walls on the walls just random places it's actually pretty hilarious oh it, it, it's always in this spot like in the pack of much area this shit gets buggy let's get our last upgrade on this next up i definitely need speed cola zabala zabababalaba dude i hate you i hate everything you stand for oh i will Loser. Oh shit, they're behind me. Dude, so one thing about Vanguard zombies is if you're not paying attention, like if you get hit like once from like behind, it feels like you could just randomly go down. Zombies, especially on like a little bit higher round, like round 23, it's not that bad. But on a little bit higher of a round, you will go down in an instant. And there's no like red screen or anything like that to indicate like, oh shit, there's danger, you know? Your armor just goes away, then all of a sudden, boom, you're dead. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah, the shotgun's kind of. I mean, it's still one shot. Eh? I guess it's just, it shoots so slow that it's kind of not killing zombies qu as quick as I want it to. That's why the Einhorn, or however you say it, is, a, is the better of the two shotguns. Yeah, we love Frost Blast. Frost Blast is OP, changed my mind. Frost Blast literally saves your life over and over again. Uh, how are you going to give me three of them? How are you going to give me three get out of jail free cards? Like, that shit's crazy. Oh shit, dude. I'm getting beat up right now. I don't think I ever upgraded my armor all the way. Should probably do that. Give me this, give me this. There we go. Speed Cola. And one more. Do I have enough to go? No, I don't have enough to upgrade all my perks. I'm like, yeah. I gotta go through one more round. I guess this pack a punch area is the best place. I mean, it's definitely like the safest place. It's the most wide open. I don't think this is the fastest possible strategy you can do. I know there's some really like broken strategies you can do with Ring of Fire, but I'm out of the loop as far as the Vanguard zombies meta. All right, is this it? Is this it? And they're out. Okay, cool. Let's go grab whatever that- Dude, what the hell is that yellow perk called? Don't actually answer. I don't care. <laughs> like, it just exists. Give me this. Give me the- Give me the goop. Give me the goop. Give me the goop. It's a boom boom. Give me this. Fully upgraded. There, I got all my perks. What, like 50,000 points later? I got all my perks. Oh, it's more than- It's actually more than 50. I thought I was exaggerating by saying 50k, but no, it's actually more than that. Insane the amount of pointage you have to spend to just get fully upgraded on perks. Absolutely breathtaking. Beat her up to death. Non-critical hits. I guess I'll go for that. Why not? I don't know the Covenant meta. I just grab the yellow ones because they look shiny. When you don't know what's good in a video game, just always go with the yellow option. Always the best. I think I need a damage upgrade on this Wonder Wolf. It's taking me a bunch of hits to kill this Zabala. Need a little bit more junk in the trunk. Look, look at this. Boom. It, take it shouldn't... Dude, two hits? What? Or did I miss the second one? Oh, no. I don't want to do it. Dude, she's still alive. What? She's invincible. Why is she invincible? Die. God damn. Is this it? It's the end of the round. I think so. Do this. Boom. And then I need thir three. Uh, I need 30k. Any juicers? Any juicers? Chance to turn. Any, I don't. Melee attacks do more damage and heal you. I guess I'll do this because it kind of stacks. I'm going for like crit shit, but I don't even think you can get crits with the Wonder Wolf. My build right now is utter garbage. Utter straight doo doo. I wonder if there's some sort of like grenade launcher, rocket launcher, some st something along those lines strategy in this game. I feel like there's got to be. That's faster than using the Wonder Wolf. The Wonder Wolf just takes too long to kill. Like, look, I'll shoot these zombies and they'll just sit there and zap for like five seconds. It's a little slow, a little slow. Boom. Oh, just enough points. Literally just enough. Okay, I'm pretty much fully upgraded now. There's not much more I need other than covenants and maybe I upgrade the shotgun. I don't know. Dude, this Wonder Wolf is so inaccurate. I hate it. Like, if you don't ADS with it, you just get shit on. Like, watch. 
Oh, never mind. <laughs> As I say that, I just like snipe him across the map. Perfect hipfire. It, it's just there is some like randomness to the hipfire. Like right there, like I was pretty much aimed on. Just don't land. Unlucky. I love two Zabalas around. Are you dead yet? Like, she'd been alive for so long. Loser. We got the goods. Melee attacks. Dude, it's like the same shit. I don't want that. Alright, this is my new strategy. I just sit here and shoot the wonder off. Oh! Never mind. Maybe not a good strategy. Oh, now they're spawning behind me. I thought they didn't spawn behind me, so I thought it was like a decent camping spot. Never mind. Back to the old train. I'm determined to find a more efficient strategy than this. I'm determined. It's gotta be a way. And it probably involves Ring of Fire, but whatever. It is very satisfying. Like, I will say this. Oh, I'm gonna be a little careful. It is very satisfying to just like straight up kill zombies in this game. It is unfortunate that there's so many Zabalas and the Shooter Mans, the Big Mamas that spawn in. But just act the actually killing zombies is really fun. Like, it feels nice as hell. That's why I'm saying, like, if you put a good map in this game, iron out some of the shitty shit. Maybe a, a fun wonder weapon that's not the wonder off, because I've never been the biggest fan of the wonder off. Hot take. I could really get behind that. The way I view it is Vanguard zombies in the current state, it's not worth $60. Like, I would not recommend if you don't have it. I would not recommend you spend $60 on this just for zombies. But, like, it, let's pretend for a second that it was free. If it was free, I would 100% recommend you, you, uh, you try it. It is worth your time. It is not worth your money, basically. Got a bum rush this dude. Freezes ass. Dude, I need to start using more freezy freeze. Just pop it on the stormtroopers while they're shooting me. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm very low. I need to buy armor. Oh, shoot. I'm dead. Oh! Freeze. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Okay, cool. I have armor. We're good. We're good. We're chill. That was my first almost down. I feel like there's going to be many more to come. Let's just freeze it. As soon as, as soon as I see that guy, just pop a freeze and just absolutely get rid of his ass. Is there anything good? Critical kill? Yes. I'll take this. All weapons, your fill stock, your... Yeah, I'll take that. Okay, cool. Finally have like a covenant. It's somewhat useful. Oh, shoot. Oh! Could not make that jump. That was very sketchy. No, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. Thank you, Frost Blast. I love you, Frost Blast. You're the real homie. Oh, God. Playing like a dumbass this round. Round 43 is apparently the dumbass round. I don't know. Not gonna lie, this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. I am, I don't know, a little over an hour, and... I'm only around 43. I, I would have figured this would have only taken about like, I don't know, maybe two, two hours, two and a half at most. It's definitely going to take more than that. Definitely going to take a lot more than that. I don't know if I had the time to spend right now to get all the way to round 100. I think I might call it on round 50, dude. I'm moving really, really soon and I have a bunch of shit to deal with with that. So I don't know if I have time to spend hours playing Vanguard Zombies right now. This game is fun. Like, do not get me wrong. It's just, it does get a little boring, a little monotonous after a while to go for high rounds but i think it's boring and monotonous to go for high rounds on any game so it's not just uh it's not just vanguard zombies trust dude these zombies are so fast holy shit so i think round 50 xfil and if i could xfil successfully i think this is a successful day today any good any good jangles in here deal more damage and critical blah, 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 blah. is that useful yeah let's do that one i feel like that sounds useful i don't know if it is or not Your attack is a cry for help. That Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I risked my life for armor when I'm pretty sure I was like full armor and immediately lost all of it anyways. I hear you up there, buddy. I I, I hear the shooty big boy. He was he's about to start shooting his little his little gun at me. When is the zombie health cap round on Vanguard? Is it like 50 or have I already hit it? I have no idea. I know it's some Feels bad. Sort of unlucky, not gonna lie. Sort of unlucky. Jug. A little speed in my life and stamina. Okay, I got all my perks back. I just need armor. I'm hoping that one of these rounds before round 50 or a boom boom round. Boom boom round right about now would be really nice. Dude, going for high rounds literally makes me go crazy. I do not have the attention span for this. These rounds take like... Oh my god. These rounds take like three minutes each, if not more. And once you're done with one round... 
It just rinse and repeat the exact same thing. Like, it's fun for a little bit. It's fun up until like 40. Then after that, dude, it's just too monotonous. I should have probably bought a self revive. That would make sense. That would make too much sense for myself. Not that smart. Oh, no, no, no. Oh my. That could have been it. That literally could have been it. My life flashed. Give me this. Yes, sir. Give me more armor. Okay, round 48. Two more. This round is not a boom boom. Hopefully 49 is boom boom. I pray. If it is, then this is the last round we gotta push through. Dude, I'm still convinced that there's gotta be like a camping strategy like in this area where you won't get like shit on from behind. Oh, that is not it. Yeah, dude, these rounds are like five minutes. I'm not even, like, there's no way I'm gonna sit here for like three more hours to get to round 100. I'm mentally incapable of that. Also, the other day I was playing and I had the game paused and then the zombies started hitting me and I went down for it. So I don't know if the pause button on this game just like doesn't work or something or like it only works or you can only pause for a certain amount of time each game or if I just got a glitch. I literally don't know, but it's kind of, it kind of makes me never want to pause the game ever out of fear of what might happen. Holy shit. Get away from me. There we go. Round 49. Are we booming? Is it booming? Oh, we're booming. Tear them to pieces. Yeah, tear me to pieces. Little cutie patooties. Yo, cutie patooties. Pop. Little, little, little red, red, red boy. Loser. These boom shriers live a sad life. All they do is spawn in and blow up. Like, they don't have a chance to live. Like, zombies, you know, they could kill me. They, like, there's always that chance that they kill me. And then they live. But boom booms, even if they succeed in what they want to do, they just die. What a sad life. All right, I've never exfilled on uh, Shinonuma here. I don't know where I teleport. Wow. Where does the teleporter spawn? I'm assuming it's a teleporter, like it was in uh, Daron Farm. Okay, I need to kill what, 35? 35, okay. And where is the TP? Or do, do I not know until after I get the kills? I don't know. Oh god. Die. Storm dude, die. Zabala? Oh, I got the kills already. Where's the portal? Dude, where's the portal? Oh. Okay, cool. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, zombies. I have a portal to take. Um, just uh, do this. Little of this, never hurt anybody. Yep. Exfil. There we go. Well, it wasn't round 100 and it wasn't flawless, but we had fun and we made friends. And that's what matters. Thank you guys for watching.